We need to talk about dual PC VR gaming setups. And yes, that is a lot of nouns in a single sentence. But what I mean is, how do you get a dedicated gaming PC, which is playing your lovely VR games, and a dedicated streaming or recording PC and send the signal from one machine to the other? Now, I'm gonna tell you how to do this twice. I'm mean, First of all, I'm gonna do it in the too long didn't read version between 30 seconds and a minute. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. And for those of you that just want the information, you can then jog on, go along with your day, like the video, subscribe, and disappear. But for those of you that want me to virtually and figuratively hold your hand, I will then take you through it step by step, showing you all the screenshots and exactly how you can install this and get it working. And the best news of all, it's free. Okay, so here's the 30 second version. There's gonna be no kind of explanations here or justifications, just the cold hard facts of what I'm doing. Load up two versions of OBS, one on your gaming PC and one on your streaming PC. On the gaming PC, capture the video from your game, either using Oculus Mirror or um, OpenVR, which is through Steam. Capture that video, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into filters and you're gonna add a dedicated NDI output here, which is gonna send that video to the other PC. Then add two more. Capture the desktop audio and your microphone audio, which gives you three separate signals, which you can then add filters to and adjust the volume to and all these kind of things. It's really, really cool. And then go over to the receiving PC, the streaming PC. Let me just change what you're seeing here. And and you can capture it as an NDI source, which is the one here that, that's currently in gray. You go plus NDI source. And as long as both of your computers are on the same network and you've named it correctly, you should be able to independently grab those three different sources, the VR um, video, your desktop audio and your microphone audio, which you can then integrate into your stream. And on the receiving PC, you can add all of your cool videos and your graphics and all, all that kind of stuff. And we're using here a tool called NDI, which is a network transfer interface. Um, I can't remember what the D stands for, and I'll put a link to it in the description. There is your 30 second version. If that helped you, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you on the next tutorial. But if you'd like some more detail on exactly um, how I've done this, then stick around and we'll have a more detailed version now after the credits. Thank you for sticking around for the more detailed version. I'm gonna put the uh, the headset down now, which might mean it'll shut itself off. And I'm gonna go through, um, I'm gonna go through exactly why I use this method. And then I'm gonna show you how I use it. So hopefully I'll kind of sell you on it. Um, so you could, so when you capture pancake games, as you probably know, one of the best ways to do it is to use a physical cable that comes out of the gaming PC into your capture card on the second PC, and then normally with another cable, it goes off to your monitor so you can see it, or you can split the monitors. But that doesn't really work with VR, game, VR games, which is probably why you're watching this video, because VR games usually don't fill the whole monitor on your gaming PC, because different games put different things on your on your screen. Like some games put some brilliant stuff on the screen which you can capture, but a lot of games don't. They put these little kind of little narrow boxes or or stuff that's not really usable. So we need to use a, a software network based version here rather than a physical cable based version. Now the, the good thing about this is it's free, um, rather than requiring a cable and a capture card. Um, but it is dependent on, a little bit on the speed of your um, network for it to work. But I, I've had no problems. You do need to have both of your PCs on the same network, because I, I actually have my gaming PC on one and my streaming PC on another, but you need them on both for this particular method to work. Um, I did read somewhere that it might be possible to use something like sub-networks or sub-routers or something like that, but I didn't understand it. Um, so if you can help me with that, that'll be great. But for, for ease of life, put your PCs on the same network. So since we're not using a cable, we're gonna use this thing called NDI, which you're gonna to need to install. Um, you, if you just Google 
OBS NDI or NDI OBS, it'll probably be this first link here, which is new tech NDI integration into OBS Studio. You come forward, you can see you can see the latest version here, which is 4.9.1. You click this go to download button. And at this point, if you don't know how to install something, then you need a lot of different tutorials, but there's a Windows installer here. This needs to be installed on both PCs, both PCs and you need to reboot the PCs after you've done it. And you'll know if it's worked because if you then reboot the PCs and turn on OBS, um, if you then go up to tools, you should see NDI output settings here. And likewise, if you come into here, you should see plus NDI source. If for any reason those bits aren't appearing on both PCs, they haven't been installed correctly, um, in which case try and install them again or look for another guide to see what might have possibly have gone wrong. Now, if I come over to my gaming pc here so i'll just kind of click flip over here so what you need to do on your gaming pc is capture is load up obs you need to get obs on here and you might be thinking oh, i don't want obs on here but all we're going to do is literally because you want you want your gaming pc to have as little running on it as possible so your game is running as well as good as possible but we are going to need OBS here, but you want to strip out everything. So no weird graphics, no scenery, no, I haven't got loads of scenes down the side here, you know, and, and you can go into scene collection and you can make yourself a new scene collection. So if, if I go here into my VR, I made it section, I've got loads of scenes with loads of graphics on. So I'm going to make a brand new scene collection and all I'm going to do is capture the game and send it to the other PC. And what you do is you capture the game. So I knew the VR headset would turn off at some point. What you do is the capture is you capture the game. And there's two ways that you can, there's two popular ways of doing this. One is using the Oculus Mirror, um, which is what I'm doing here, which is a tool that captures, if you're using an Oculus like I am, then it basically captures everything that you are seeing, everything you are seeing. And that's important because you want it to be everything that you are seeing. Or the other way is using a tool called Open VR Capture, which you can Google and you can find online, which captures captures anything you're playing through Steam. So both methods work. Um, I, I'm using the Oculus Mirror version. If you want an Oculus Mirror tutorial, let me know in the comments and, I'll, and, I'll, and I, can, I can help you out with that. Once you add that signal to your um, OBS on the gaming PC, this is, if, I, if at any point I get gaming and streaming PC confused, sorry, just try and work it out. You go into filters, which feels really like um, counterintuitive to why do you go into filters? And you're going to add a filter called a dedicated NDI output. And what this is going to do is it's going to send that signal, that, that, that VR signal to the other PC in a way which you can then independently um, capture. Now, there's another way of doing it, which you, which you might see in other tutorials, which is up here. And if you go into tools and you click NDI, NDI output settings, if you turn that on, it will send everything that this PC is seeing to the other computer, which is brilliant. And there'll be times when you want to do that. But actually, if you want to get a really good quality signal, we want to separate your microphone, you speaking, from the gaming audio, from the um, the, 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 the visuals, because then, then you can independently filter and, uh, and all sorts. And so that's why we're using the, these filters here. So again, if I go into filters on this open VR capture, you click um, dedicated NDI output. And to be honest, I leave that one called NDI, a dedicated NDI output, then come over this side and give it a name, which is really, really um, memorable that you'll recognize on the other PC. So for example, here, I'm, I'm capturing the desktop here and you can see I'm actually using NDI to capture the desktop here. I've gone to go into filters, dedicated, uh, dedicated NDI output, and I've called it NDI desktop. You know, maybe I should call it NDI desktop gaming PC or something like that, you know, just something really really, really clear um, as as to what it is. Also, what I've done is when I'm capturing the microphone and the desktop audio, I've got again, I've gone into filters and I've added here a desktop audio um, 
output here. And again, I've given it a name and I've called it Desktop Audio NDI. And again, where and I can't show you this one because it's over on this other scene. And if I change the scene, you won't be able to see it. And again, when I'm capturing my microphone through the Oculus, there's one called, I think it's called Oculus Microphone or something like that. If you're using Virtual Desktop, which and this works with Virtual Desktop as well, then it's called Virtual Desktop Microphone. Make a third um, end dedicated NDI output that's capturing that microphone. So we're going to add, you're going to get those three sources and you're gonna add those three dedicated outputs. Let's go across to the other PC and I'm gonna to have to look this way to do that one. Um, so then when you come across to the receiving PC, the streaming PC, you then add your sources again. So this time you press plus, but where is on the other PC, you added the, the capture as normal and then added a filter. On the receiving PC, you go directly, you go straight away for the NDI source. So I'll click here, add an NDI source. And I'll just say, I'll just, for the sake of it, I'll just say create a new one. And then what you should have here, if this has worked, is a list of all of the sources that you have sent from the other PC. So you can see mine here, I've got the desktop audio. You can see here, I've got the desktop signal that you were literally just looking at. I've got my Oculus mic and I've got my um, Oculus mirror. And this one is actually coming from the, the current PC that, that, I'm, that I'm actually on. So then you choose the one that you, that you want. So in this case, let's add um, the Oculus mic. There's no signal coming out of it, but for, for argument's sake, um, it's there. I would suggest that you um, rename it and call it something that's very, very obvious. So I'll just call it um, Mike um, Gaming PC NDI or, or something like that. You, you can come up with something more catchy. And then you can see it's now added that as a, a second signal here, mic gaming PC NDI. And if, if I if I turn the headset back on and started speaking into it, you would then um, see that, that um, signal there. So now we've got our lovely jubbly signals coming through to the receiving PC, we can then start to shape them and add all your lovely, lovely filters and things like that. So now I've got my my thing coming through, I could put this in a little box, I can add my little video effects. Um, if I'm looking at the microphone one, if I just turn that off for a second, if I now go into my microphone here, I can go um, into the filters and I could add all my, my compressors and my noise gates and my plugins and all those kind of things, but crucially, all of that kind of stuff is being done on the streaming PC and the gaming PC, or on the streaming PC and the recording PC, there you go, I got it wrong, rather than the gaming PC, which is taking all of that load and all of that work off of the gaming um, um, PC, which is obviously why you're here and why we're kind of doing this tutorial. If for any reason, when you're trying to add um, your NDI source, um, if it's not appearing, so say you opened up this, um, say you opened up the properties here and you couldn't see your source, double check that you've installed NDI on both PCs, double check that they're on the same network, um, add the NDI source on the receiving PC after you have started sending it from the gaming PC. Like, so don't, so it's like delete the whole NDI source on the receipt. So go, go to here, like, remove the whole thing like that and then re-add it again and see if that um, kind of picks up, you know, reboot OBS, th those kind of things. Um, but as long as they're on the same network, it should be picking it up and make sure that you give each one a unique name as well. So if again, if I just come across back to here, make sure when, when you've got say the, the desktop here, which is an OBS filter, if I go into the, the filters, make sure that you've given this bit a unique name because it does, if they're all called NDI dedicated output, you'll A, you might not see it and B, they might, they might all have the same name. So make, give that a, a, a clear name so you can see what's coming through. If it's still not working then, Google for some tutorials or put a comment in and, 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 we'll, and I'll see if I can kind of help you and see what's gone wrong. But I, I haven't had any problems as long as I followed all, all of those different steps. And then good luck. Enjoy put crafting your dual PC VR setup. That should be working for you. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it is useful for you. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, all those kind of things. And if you want to see me playing games using my dual PC VR setup, then you can see that on my YouTube and over on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash TV. I hope your day is fantastic. You've been been fantastic. You know what? So was I. Take care. Bye-bye.